I'm sure you've seen this question. Everybody's seen this question. Let's be honest, it's a nightmare. So let's just talk about how to do it, okay? So the key point that we're looking at in a question like this is this. We're looking for the possible value of E minus S. So what that means is that that's the difference between the actual amount and the rounded amount. We have to calculate the total amount that it's possible to round for the evens. And we have to calculate the total amount that it's possible to round for the odds. And then add those together. And that's how we'll figure out what the total range is. List T consists of 30 positive decimals, none of which is an integer, and the sum of the 30 decimals is S. The estimated sum of the 30 decimals E is defined as follows. Each decimal in T whose tenths digit is even is rounded up to the nearest integer. And each decimal in T whose tenths digit is odd is rounded down to the nearest integer. If one third of the decimals in T have a tenths digit that is even, which of the following is a possible value of E minus S? So the way to look at this is to think about, okay, so what we're looking at there is got an even digit. That's gonna give us, okay, if we took an example here, 0 0.89, that would be the extreme high value. And we round that up to one, for example. So the amount that you rounded is this. It's one minus this, which is essentially 0 0.1. And then the minimum number that you could get that has an even tens digit would be, so what that means essentially is for the evens, you've got 0 0.1 is your amount of rounding per number up to one potentially. Next question, how many evens do we have? So they're saying it's 30 positive decimals, right? And that's gonna give us 10. So basically I just multiply this by 10. So the total amount rounded for evens is going to be 1, 0 0.1 times 10, all the way up to 10, all right? So we do the same thing for the odds. Now, of course, in this case, we know that there are 20 odds because there's 10 evens. So then what we'll do is we'll go for odd, and it says each decimal in T whose tenths digit is odd is rounded down to the nearest integer. Okay, so the obvious case there would be the highest value, which would be this and you're going down to the nearest integer, downward, zero, okay? So the amount rounded is going to be minus one, give or take. The absolute minimum that it could be would be this, 0 0.1 with only zeros after it, and that goes down to zero. So the amount rounded down is going to be minus 0 0.1. Now, remember, we know there's 20 of those, so we're saying mi minus one, to 0 0.1, and remember, we know that there are 20 of these, okay? So that's gonna be minus 20, the minimum amount rounded, to minus two, the maximum amount rounded for the odds. So this is the total for the odds. So what you're looking for here is the total for the evens plus the total for the odds. So I literally just add them, put the brackets there, because I'm adding a negative, and that leaves our range as minus 19 to x to eight. So which of these numbers over here fit within that range, okay? That's going to be minus 16 and six, but not the 10 because that's obviously more than eight. 